honestly believe that mountain biking has saved me. It's given me back my purpose. It's given me back the reason and the knowing of who I am. All of those things that I loved doing when I was a kid, it services all of those. It just gives everything I need it to. And being out in nature, being in the woods, it's just where I need to be. It's what I need to do. And I feel really lucky to have found it, in all honesty, I really do. I feel really privileged to be able to do it at all. I was lucky enough to grow up in Oman in the Middle East. My mum never knew where I was. We just used to roll about, it was a pack of us, from one house to another, bikes out the front, decimate the cupboards. It was just the best time. It was just wicked. Just out the back of our house, we had basically a desert and we just used to disappear off, all of us, just on our bikes and just honestly just ride into the distance. It was so much fun. I clearly remember my first bike and it was a rally apple with a basket on the front and uh, it was beautiful but I did really want something a lot cooler to be fair. On my seventh birthday dad smashed it out of the park and I remember there was a bike hidden outside where we lived. There was a rally burner BMX and I was over the moon! <laughs> I'll never forget seeing that bike, it was insane. I came back to the UK when I was 10. When I hit secondary, I went to an all girls school and I was the classic tomboy. I did struggle kind of fitting in with the things that girls are meant to do. So I ended up hanging out with BMX boys a little bit more. By the time I got to sort of 16, 17, I was hanging out with a load of guys at this place called Slade's Farm, which was a skate park. And it just felt much more like me. I loved hanging out there. The trouble was when I wanted to ride or skate, there was minimal, and I mean minimal other girls riding or skating. So it was just really heavily male dominated and it was quite anxiety inducing to step forward into that. One day the boys dared me to jump the bowl on a bike and I so wanted to do it but I remember so clearly the feeling of my heart just beating out of my chest as I sat on the hill to do it. And I did it, but I never did it again. <laughs> now it's part of that feeling that keeps me doing what I'm doing. I still get that now, but I don't overthink it. So fast forward, and I'm an adult, and I realised that just life had just happened around me. Good career, then got married, had kids, all amazing, and suddenly I realised I'm 40 years old. I wasn't doing the fun stuff anymore, and I'm burnt out. I kind of stopped playing, so I remembered what it was that I loved doing when I was a kid. My husband had been mountain biking for about 18 months, two years with his friends. We were on holiday in Cornwall and there was a bike park around the corner. We all had the bikes in the van, so we just headed down there for the day. I had absolutely no thoughts about the day whatsoever. And as soon as we pulled up and I saw the bike park, I couldn't get the bike out of the van quick enough. Absolutely something ignited in me that day. Just like being a kid again, it was incredible. been riding my cross-country bike which is not for bike park use really for a good couple of months it was great and I was doing all right 
a few weeks into it, we went back to the bike park. There was this lad on a full suspension mountain bike and as I came back around from jumping, he looked at me and he said, do you want to go on my bike? So I was like, yes, please. So went round, did a couple of jumps and I got back up to him to pass the bike back and he's like, do you want another go? I was like, yes, please. And went back around again and the moment I had landed that bike, I totally understood what full suspension mountain bikes were about and I knew I had to have one. Luckily for me, he was about to sell it. And from that moment on, it's been a complete obsession. I absolutely love everything about it and everything it brings to my life on the daily. It's taken me back completely to where I feel most alive and that is not really thinking about an awful lot of stuff, being pretty risky, act first, think later, all of that sort of stuff. Proper qualities of being a kid. And the difference is this time, I'm not a teenager and I don't have those self-conscious issues anymore. Ultimately and honestly, I really believe that mountain biking has saved me. It's given me back everything that I felt was lacking. It opens my heart. I love being out in nature, in the woods. I like spending time in the air. I just, I feel so lucky to have found it. And I, more than that, feel really privileged even to be able to do it. If I had to sum up my most meaningful and favorite moment so far of this whole mountain biking journey, there was a jump that I wanted to do at the bike park. I've been building up to it for a while, so I asked my 10 year old daughter to film it for me. And after I did it, she came running up to me and she was just like, whoa, mommy, that's amazing. I'm so happy for you. I can't believe you just did that. And that that's it for me. That's it for me. If it inspires them, it might inspire someone else. It's got to be worth it. Absolutely amazing. That was the one. That was yeah, awesome. Yeah, brilliant. Oh my goodness! Alright, my battery's about to die. So oh, I think we're.